andariki namaskaram a special good morning to each and every good afternoon to each and every one here first of all i am very happy that we have got the 33% reservation and we thank our honorable prime minister modi ji for uh, giving us this uh, 33% reservation as well as all the other leaders who took forward it till the final decision before it was in mere words but now it has uh, been made as a bill and yesterday a honorable president has signed assented the bill so it is a great opportunity even though 27 years it was uh, the whole country was talking about it particularly it's a fate that a women president should assent the women bill so that is the greatness of this country i always feel whatever uh, uh, to happen it will happen at the correct time and another thing also the colonial residual things and all went away and we entered the new parliament and the first bill passed about the uh, women that is also a women empowerment that's the power of the women and only women who are in politics and women who are all in uh, social life only will know the strength of the reservation as uh, uma was telling everyone will enter politics and everyone will walk with a dream but when opportunities are offered i always say we uh, as a women we have to work hard more than 10 to 20 times than a man at least to be considered for the post not appointment whether to be considered or 10 to 20 times even i can say 15 times we have to work so that for that post she can be considered it, it, it's it's fact and why i thank our honorable prime minister and i you all know my background Uh, i was a politician I, i i don't hide it as if some of the people in uh, telangana are telling you you were a bjp leader so you are a politician no that was my history so now i have been transformed into a uh, administrative post so i don't hide it i don't shy away and it is fact so why we people why i could get that post because when this was initiated the 33% was initiated it was not only uh, certain parties particularly the party which i belonged i was all the other f- factors also jumped in and lot of things were blocking it so what bjp decided at that time it was uh, under the leadership of uh, uh, honorable now raksha mandri uh, our uh, radna singh ji so they, they decided to provide 33% reservation for women in the party party constitution passed it and even under my leadership if i want to appoint 10 persons 10 office bearers three were women even now they follow it so before 15 years itself they brought that uh, re- uh, uh, amendment in the party constitution so because of that large number of women came forward to join the party i joined before that because of that i did not join but we were motivated by that so only we could attain some position because when general secretaries were appointed one women should be there among four and then vice presidents were appointed 10 three should be women and when 10 secretaries were appointed three should be women so so it uh, really uh, made us to occupy the positions so that uh, that reservation really supported us it's not as it is said by somebody it is not that reservation is uh, uh, helping us but it motivates us to uh, take the field and it motivates us to do more work and most of the time i have watched women will march forward much faster but if we, they face any hurdle if they face any problem immediately they turn back the destination would have been very nearer but uh, they won't tolerate uh, if you have to tell me because i was a very uh, successful doctor 
and uh, my passion was politics i i was attending more than almost 10 hospitals as a special consultant and i am fetal therapist so you know fetal i was the second fetal therapist who got qualified from tamil nadu so you imagine reference and almost i was very busy i always uh, narrate one uh, in a lighter sense one person came and asked a uh, politician sir find me a job that politician told because i didn't find a job i joined politics like that he told <laughs> i was not like the, such a politician till 2 am i was practicing and i was an assistant professor i was consulted in 10 hospitals and i was a super specialist in fetal therapy but in spite of that my passion was politics and then i wanted to enter politics so uh, somehow I, i can back the women so when we entered it was really even now i am telling politics is men's field only so when opportunities are given when preservations are given it motivates more women to enter not only politics into the social life so when bharatiya janata party gave reservation for women so women were confident enough to join the party so that they uh, they could get some position so really competent and really talented women got it got the position as madam told it should not be a binami reservation so i i read in one of the paper one one leader some i don't want i don't want mention the party some local leader told immediately oh this if this uh, constituency is reserved then definitely i will prepare my wife for this constituency so they are preparing so it's not like that and 15 lakh panchayat presidents are women in our country so initially we also had some uh, as it is said uh, madam told uh, from andhra mahila sabha she told him i wanted to see him but only his uh, husband is man uh, but it was initially it was but now i see women empowered and they fight and as it is said uh, estrogen has more power <laughs> uh, so when 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 opportunities are given i always in a lighter sense will women are good administrators because they can manage both men and women but man cannot manage women <laughs> so women can be good administrators by one of my personal experience so why i am telling really it it it, it, it really for people who are toiling so such a reservation when it is uh, uh, as our honorable prime minister said it's because of the strong leadership women became stronger so it needs a strong leadership so immediately it should be so immediately it was passed in the lok sabha it it was passed in the rajya sabha and it was ascended yesterday so really we are happy but why most of the women shared their uh, uh, joy with me so i thought instead of uh, individually sharing so all the power house of women power of telangana let us all get united and with over joy we will shout we are thankful and we will achieve and this will given we have to prepare ourselves it is not that okay reservation is given i always tell i i worked as a president and work as a governor and i am not inferior to anybody i work like a man and i more work, work more than a woman and i am competent more than a man so even we have reservation as it is said 33% may be the reservation but we should work to get 50% it is not that we cannot contest from other constituencies women can contest from other constituencies women can occupy more posts even now the most of the ceos and uh, you know most of the leaders they are emerging because when women are given opportunity even when i go to the uh, universities the gold medals first eight will come the only girls will come then then two male children will come then i used to tell don't worry then one of the professor told there will be a, a, a time so we will fight for men reservation when women are given reservation then they, they will grab the opportunity but we have some limitations for example our family life our personal life our personal likings and when we compete with men so when we are telling no no till time till this time the politics is dominated by man power muscle power one person told no i told no no 
from here after it will be decided by mahila power also so not only man power muscle power but mahila power also so you add that also so because uh, we, i uh, most of the time we have seen that we, we were unable to we are we are competent enough but certain times when this reservation it is i am not talking persons like me because i am a fighter from the beginning i wanted to uh, uh, come top in the politics so, so when I, uh, unfortunately for example it's not politics i am talking when i landed here as governor this same state did not have any women ministers after i came only i i sworn in as a governor in the morning and i gave oath to two <laughs> women ministers in the evening so when i landed this land was not with uh, without female ministers women ministers so when women governor landed then fortunately we had two women ministers also so uh, so i was very fortunate to uh, to uh, pro provide oath to uh, administer oath to them and my request is we can happily but that position we have to be competent enough we have to be uh, improve our uh, uh, qualification we have to improve our uh, work pattern we have to improve our status so that we become inevitable to occupy that post so that is my request don't think that no no i will come as a reserved reserved person and i i am not qualified only through reservation it's not that this is an opportunity that's all but women can do anything but so whatever may be you sharpen yourself you think that you have to move more forward and my request is women always become emotional they cry and they become emotional and immediately they stop working then they revert back then i have to pull them oh you have done so much don't do that always be brave whether you are respected nor respected be brave whether you are your protocol is given or not given you be brave <laughs> you do your work nothing will halt you okay if you come and give me a flower okay i will receive it if you are turning your back okay i i will move more faster okay if thorns are on my way okay i will pu pull it down and i will okay i always say when stones are thrown on me i will build my fort with that stones if pins are pricking me i will soak my pen in that blood and i will write my history so nothing can halt me nothing can prevent me so be bolder that is the message braver at the same time concerned about the public whatever may be the post whether it is a sarpanch or whether it is panchayat president whether it is an mla whether it is a uh, even a governor or president whatever may be the office is for the people so concern about the people even whatever the criticism they, they actually if they criticize me also i am much satisfied i am doing everything for the people because our life when we come for public life we are for the people so if for betterment if if i could Uh, help one woman to today really i am satisfied so that is for the people uh, uh, who, he, she may be uh, residing in your next house so what, what what's a help you can do you are uh, not only when women come they say no no women become jealous and they won't uh, encourage others so don't do that encourage as many women as you can so that you have more power and we can achieve greater results i should say because i became a doctor and how i became a governor a uh, politician actually from my childhood i had a passion seeing my father but when i was uh, i have very little time because i have to fly to delhi for uh, the same uh, mahila conference uh, when i uh, was a house surgeon i faced a very pathetic situation one patient named lata she was immolated herself and uh, she was pregnant and through her pregnant abdomen the the fetus hand was protruded out saying that somebody save me that was a very very pathetic picture when i had then i asked her why did you do this she told my father an ordinary farmer and because of dowry problem already 10 pounds are pending to be given to my mother in law's house 
when i became the pregnant my mother in law told you should come with 10 pounds with chain uh, bangles everything after that only you have to come with the 10 percent pending pounds when the term nearing i was thinking about her words my father is such a poor person he my marriage itself he conducted in a in a very difficult way so i thought what could be the solution so my i don't want my father to suffer so i burnt myself she told then i told what is what till what I, what is your qualification she told i have studied 10th i know little typing i know tailoring then i told you should have fought the situation even you should have uh, taken uh, uh, typing you could have had a center or you would have uh, made this uh, tailoring as your profession not immediately going to your mother in law so you would have earned with pride with your own earning you should have otherwise you should have fought with your mother in law otherwise with your pride why are you asking i will earn later because i am i have so much of uh, uh, um, confidence in me because i know tailoring you should have told only one word she told if i would have met you, a person like you i wouldn't have done this so that only the first seed i should be in the public life and another incident when i was the house surgeon you know the peripheral hospitals there was no oxygen when a neonatal child was admitted 35 years back it's not now 35 years back then the the, the parents were peeping through the glass uh, say the uh, thinking that their the, the child is getting oxygen but there was no oxygen i was telling sister there was no oxygen there is no oxygen then she told no no i i intended i didn't get oxygen then i immediately went to the dean's room sir i want to know that the neonatal ward is not having oxygen then the pa of the dean told no 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 students and all should not come and shout like this then another person went and murmured in his ears no no she is the opposition leader's daughter <laughs> huh? so so don't tell that then she will make it as a big issue then immediately did oh, come come ma okay. listen said what do you want oxygen only <laughs> okay i will provide then immediately within 2 minutes oxygen came so i thought if i want to do some good things also we need power so that only made me a politician i would have very confidently i i i was well qualified and had a very good practice but in spite of that i entered politics and i entered social life only for the people and as a governor also i am working only for the people whatever may be the criticism whatever may be the humiliation i don't bother because i am a person who is born to serve the public and whatever may be the smallest i am i am not telling i am a great person but if i wipe the tear of one person suffering person it is a great thing i can do for this society so that should be the mentality and i am really happy and this reservation will motivate more women to enter politics and because of the strong leadership whatever may be the politics they can say this was a reservation uh, was presented in the parliament and for 27 years everyone was uh, uh, taking it forward uh, the, i am not underestimating anybody so only we thank whoever uh, fought for it but finally it was possible because of the strong leadership of our honorable prime minister modi ji so i personally from the bottom of my heart because a person who toiled in politics only know how this reservation will help them thank you so much i really uh, enjoyed your presence with all our efforts definitely this reservation as it is it should be useful to the society it should not be uh, just a bill and some people uh, who are all binamis coming into so and so's daughter so and so's uh, wife and so and so's mother it is not like that even though i am so and so's daughter i did not take that card in my hand as an ordinary karyakarta i was elevated so that also i want to enforce you so really i am very happy so that from today we will oh that somehow we will do some good things to the society it is not only through politics whatever may be the uh, post we hold 
and particularly when women are in politics uh, bharati dasan is a great tamil poet he says in my house no sickness no sadness because my wife is ruling such when women come to politics and if they start ruling definitely there won't be any sickness there won't be any poverty in the society bharati dasan says nimirnd nannade neergonda paarve nilathil yaarukkum anjada gnana cherukk what means stand straight look straight don't be covered because it is your world so nimirnd nannade neergonda yaarukkum anjada be brave gnana cherukk means be vidya garvam that is be proud you are a woman i always i don't need a crown for my head because my head is crown for me thank you so much